Well, hey guys, good morning. It is Monday morning. It is very, very dreary here and kind of sprinkling and raining. I, well, it's one of those Monday mornings. Um, this is actually the intro for the Kick-Ass, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass. I'm wearing shade number four. I'm doing this really quick in my car on the way to work. And I wanted to show you guys because I'm gonna actually show you how I put it on. I use a sponge. It's the uh, Sonia Kashuk sponge. It's huge. It's this huge egg that I use on my face to bounce it around and put it on. And uh, so I did that yesterday. And I also went out to uh, see a movie, uh, the Tom Hanks movie. It's um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And uh, uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Rogers, you know, movie, which was phenomenal. And you'll see later on in the clip here uh, what I think about that. But I digress. Anyway, uh, so this is uh, really kind of day two, day three of wearing the kick-ass makeup. And I want to say kick butt. I don't know if YouTube's going to hate me for saying kick ass so much but that's the name of it but um it supposedly takes the place now of the cyo makeup uh they're supposedly i think retiring that and then the closest dupe or you know maybe they reformulated i don't even know if it's the same company but uh everyone's saying on youtube that uh the kick ass makeup is the makeup uh, to replace the CYO. So if you're using CYO and you can't get a hold of it anymore, just know that you can get the kick-ass makeup and that will be the, um, you know, the exchange for it. So again, this number four, I don't know, I think it's like a buff, something like a buff beige or buff something. It's very neutral on my skin. I do have a neutral undertone. I don't have a red undertone or a yellow undertone. I don't do well with, um, yellow undertone makeup. I usually do uh, the best with neutral makeup. So this is definitely neutral. I have no concealer under my eye. It is strictly just whatever the makeup is covering at this point. I am wearing mascara today. Yay. And you'll see in the, um, in the clips that I'm going to insert, I forgot to put on my mascara when I was testing this uh, makeup. So I look kind of rabbit eyed. I don't know uh, if you guys can pick up on it. Certainly I, I don't have any, you know, lush lashes to speak of. I did have lipstick on. Uh, I didn't have any blush on either. I do have blush on today. It's the Wet n Wild. Uh, I think it's pearlescent pink, which I always gravitate to and I always use. Uh, I do have my eyebrows done, which I did have uh, in the in the videos you know, coming up. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. I will just uh, play music. There's no real voiceover or anything discussing me putting on the makeup. I think it's self-explanatory. You'll see me putting the makeup on with some uh, background music, and then I'm going to come on later on as I'm going through the day. I think there's like a six or seven hour uh, wear uh, of this makeup. It's supposed to last and last and last and last. It's supposed to be waterproof. It's supposed to be like, uh, you know, literally glued onto your face and will not budge. And the uh, amount of times that I have been wearing it, about three right now, and I did do a couple before, like a week or so before, just to test it out. It has really, really, really uh, held up very well throughout my, um, you know, work week, throughout weekends, throughout running around town, doing shopping, Christmas shopping, and Hanukkah shopping, and all of that. Uh, so it's really, really held on very well. Um, so I have no complaints about it. Uh, use your own judgment on how you want to, you know, if you want to test it or anything like that. But again, I've got normal skin, uh, maybe a little bit of combination. My T-zone tends to be a little bit oily, maybe around my forehead. My cheeks are usually, they're all normal. My chin is normal. My, uh, my neck is, you know, normal to dry. So I have, you know, a typical, uh, mature skin, no acne, no breakouts, nothing like that. So that's just uh, a little background on, um, you know, what my skin is like. Okay. So again, here it is really quick close up. There you go. Just go in to show you. There you go. This is natural light. I'm literally nothing, no filter through the, through the, um, car. So that's it. And it's overcast right now, which actually makes it really nice. It's kind of diffusing the light, which is really good. So anyway, that's it. No further ado. Let's get to the video. Bye. 
Bye. Well, hey guys, uh, this is about an hour and a half later after I've put on um, the kick-ass makeup. So I really like it. So far, so good. It's giving me a really nice coverage. Um, I don't know, guys, why my video cut off right here, but I was going to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, it's doing really good, and I'm on my way to date day with the hubby and we'll be hanging around outside and also taking a movie in hey guys we're at the avalon i don't know if you guys see this but they're um ice skating right behind us but i just came out from the movie and it was a beautiful day in the neighborhood and i cried my freaking eyes out so if i look like glittery eye that's the reason um man it, it was it was an awesome, awesome, awesome movie. I highly recommend it to anybody. But anyway, um, so this is how <laughs> I look like after buying my freaking face off. Um, but it seems to be really good. The uh, makeup is still on me. And um, yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. I can't believe I forgot mascara. I literally forgot to put mascara on um, as I was bolting out the door. Uh, putting on the makeup because I was like so into getting the makeup right for you guys and putting that in there that I just kind of forgot. I put my lipstick on but I didn't um, put any mascara on. So apologies for that and 
uh, there's no blush or anything. Basically, it's just the makeup. Uh, but it looks really good. It's about um, 5.30 and the sun is going down. But um, I, it's still, you know, it's kind of holding on. I know there's probably streaks uh, on my face, <laughs> again, from bawling my eyes out. But um, Tom Hanks was magnificent. Chris Cooper, oh my God, unbelievable. And I don't know, I don't remember the name of the, the young man who was the reporter, but he's going to be up for an Oscar, guaranteed, guaranteed. So anyway, um, just checking in with you guys. Again, uh, if you can see, that's the Avalon. It's a beautiful place to um, walk around, and uh, we're going to hit and have some, um, I think I'll have an espresso and maybe a, like a little, a little cake or something, and then Hubby's going to have uh, ice cream. And that's it, and we're gonna get going, right, hubby? <laughs> so we're gonna get going, and like I said, that's that there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Um, so that's it. That's my recommendation, and I think it's holding out really good. And um, definitely, definitely go get this one if you uh, if you uh, like this type of cover. I think it's a really great cover. Yeah, it's like a medium blend, but it's a really nice cover. Anyway. Give this a thumbs up if you like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!